On the night before Christmas, excitement in the air. It's the time for giving, it's a time to share. But Christmas is also busy, there's a lot to prepare. What are we having for dinner and who will be there? As Picnic we try to help to take those worries away and deliver everything on time, just not in a sleigh. Today we'll give you a glimpse of what it is we do to make your Christmas special, but also for our crew. Because behind our little car, there's magic to be found. It's the people who make it special, who work all year round. So what are we doing this year? What could do the trick? There's one simple answer. Let's have a picnic with Picnic. Catherine, I'm super excited to have you here today for this really, really special Christmas episode from Picnic with Picnic. Yes, very excited to be here. Not a better time to be. And uh, we found the perfect setup for this uh, crazy time, right? Definitely did. And we're super busy already with all the Christmas preparations. So this is very fitting. I actually have a little surprise prepared for our uh, viewers. Ah, you do? What is it? So we're going to give away a 100 year voucher for one oh. of our viewers. And they can actually order with that voucher at our picnic app for nice. their Christmas dinner. Yeah. Nice. How would you describe Christmas times at picnic? The best of times, I would say. It's hectic, it's intense. You really see the picnic spirit shine through. It's a time where we really need to make our best effort and connect with different teams, prepare quite a long time ahead to make sure that uh, our customers can have the best Christmas possible. Wow, yeah, that sounds really like a lot of preparation has to be made. How is your team preparing for that? Well, what some people don't know is that we actually start preparing Christmas since October. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. So uh, we're right now in full on uh, Christmas preparation, of course. Um, and it's very lengthy process because we have to forecast everything our customers will order. But we also need to collaborate very closely with our suppliers to make sure that the products can be there. So you started at Picnic five years ago? Almost six. Almost six, right? Yes. Wow, so you <laughs> nearly made the whole journey with Picnic? Almost. <laughs> Almost, that's crazy. And you started with managing our operations and now you're switched to inbound, right? Yes, that's true. What is inbound, Catherine? So the inbound team is in charge of making sure we can buy all the right items in the right quantities and have okay. them in our warehouses right when we need to pick them for our customers. Okay, wow, that sounds like a really important uh, step within our supply chain. So maybe can you explain to me where I find this inbound step in our supply chain and also how our supply chain is working? Yeah, of course. It actually really starts from our app, right? Because that's the mm -hmm. interaction our customers have with us where they can see um, recipes, the products we have, the promotions we have. And the inbound team makes sure that they can actually select those products and that they're available for buying. Once the customer has placed in the order, it is prepared in our fulfillment centers. So there we have all of our shoppers who pick their orders, prepare them. And from there it goes to our hubs and our runners actually bring it to the doorstep of our customers. Okay, and the fulfillment center, is that comparable to a warehouse? So what is that? It is a type of warehouse. Uh, we try to keep minimal stocks because we have very fresh items that we get delivered daily. It is the place where we prepare the orders to really arrive immediately at the customer. Okay, and the runner, because that is a bit like picnic language, is yes. the person who is bringing from like a small warehouse all products directly to the customer? Yes, so uh, our runners are the people that are driving our electrical vehicles and they are the ones that bring the order directly to the customer. Customers, of course, order ahead to prepare for all the exciting dinner with friends and family. They're planning, um, cooking recipes, preparing desserts. So the Christmas uh, um, chaos starts <laughs> a little bit earlier. I can imagine that also the products might be different. Definitely. And I actually um, have a small surprise for you, which Ooh. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> so I brought a set of articles that are okay. very popular and I'm gonna um, do a small game with you. So Ooh, if you can hold this a for a second. I like games. <laughs> I brought in these products because I think it would be nice for you to try to pinpoint which items okay. are the most popular, particularly okay. during Christmas, in a specific country. Okay. So we have here 
raclette cheese or raclette queso. Okay. I think it might be a bit <laughs> obvious, but can you guess where it's from? Okay, queso is definitely a German word, so yes. probably this for Germany. Yes, and, yeah, yes, everyone is extremely saying popular. That. Yeah. Then we also have self-baking okay. croissants. Okay, croissants might be France probably, like croissant is a big thing in France. So True. I guess this is uh, something for France? Mm, it's actually from the Netherlands. Okay. So everything that is self-baking or contains the word afpak, yeah. basically, <laughs> becomes extremely popular during the holidays. Okay. Um, so this is uh, definitely in the Netherlands. Then we also have herbs cream cheese. Okay, herbs cream cheese. Okay, you've said that with a afpak thing, so bake things yourself. So I guess you put that onto your croissant in the Netherlands then. Yeah, not just on the croissant, but yes. <laughs> so it's extremely popular. Um, and one of the items that has the largest uh, uplift. Okay. Then we also have whipped cream, <laughs> sahne or slagroom. Okay. Um, I know that Germans are baking quite a lot in the Christmas time. So I would guess this is, this is for Germany. Yes, you're completely right. Um, eggs also have an uplift yeah, that makes um, sense, right? during the season. So yeah. we definitely see Germany going all in on baking uh, during December, which is very uh, all interesting. All along, yeah. Yes. And then we have champagne. Ooh, favorite part. Yes. <laughs> Where do you guess? I think that's also hard. That could also be France, but I think True. also Netherlands, also Germany. Um, I would guess Germany. Yes, there you are correct. So it's very popular in Germany. In the Netherlands, we of course also have uh, different types of wines. Okay. Uh, red wine is in particular uh, mm -hmm. uh, very popular, but in Germany we do see champagne being a bit more popular. Okay, shall we take a sip? Yes, I think we should. Nice. Okay. Then, cheers. Uh, cheers on Christmas times, right? Yes. <laughs> nice. But what is also really important is that you can already find all these items on the app. Okay, cool. There are still some that are coming. Yeah. But you also have uh, a lot of recipes and exciting developments uh, um, exactly. that you wanted to tell us about the app, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, holiday season, it will be all about family meals. So affordable, but also delicious uh, family recipes you can actually get from our app. So you can order them just via one click. We also have like some nice do-it-yourself content for mm. presents, but also for crafting. It's always so difficult to choose what to cook, what kind of menu to do. <laughs> exactly. I'm uh, lucky enough that I'm usually not the one doing the cooking myself, <laughs> but I did get quite some uh, good ideas last year from the app uh, for desserts. Some families are actually having quite some traditions, which they're following up every year. Do you have that at your family? Well, we do, but as you know, I'm from Costa Rica. So in Costa Rica, we tend to have very big family gatherings. Yeah. Um, we don't wear sweaters because it's like 24 <laughs> degrees. So it's a bit of a different uh, vibe. Um, but this year I'm uh, spending it uh, with a smaller family in uh, Dusseldorf, actually. Yeah, it's also the time of taking care of each other, exactly, and yes. seeing your family. And giving back as well. Yeah, and this is also something I do like a lot at Picnic. We have like this nice initiative with the food banks together. Yes, definitely. It's uh, one of the most important initiatives I, I think we have. Uh, so we collaborate with the food banks um, the whole year, but especially during Christmas, we set up an initiative so that our customers can also support the families uh, at the food bank. It's also super easy. So when you go into our app and you do your normal shopping, you can directly also donate yes. some money. And it really starts for small amounts. So yeah, last year it went really, really well, which I like a lot. Last year it went really well. Last year between uh, both countries, we were able to collect more than 160,000 wow. euros that we were able to donate to the food banks. This yes. holiday season um, in general, I think for us for Picnic, it's also about giving something back to our customers. True. And I think that's the perfect bridge for our giveaway. Because in that giveaway, we're going to yeah give a 100 euro voucher nice. for our customers to order with us over our picnic app, and right on time for Christmas. Exactly for your Christmas uh, preparations, nice. and to win this voucher, you have to first like this video, then you have to subscribe to our channel, you have to count how often we said the word picnic and send it to picnic with picnic at teampicnic.com. And yes, those picnics count as well. <laughs>
And you can find all details in our description below this video. Very nice. But before we go, I do have one more thing for you. Okay. I heard you had never tried this. And even though I'm not Dutch myself, I can share with you that this is my favorite Dutch dish during the holidays. Okay, um, exciting. Yes, olibollen. <laughs> they look like uh, Berliners in Germany. Mm, might be related, maybe distant cousins. And you shouldn't worry about how to eat them because it's always going to be messy. Okay. You just need to try them and, uh, Ooh, and, nice, and enjoy. Nice, nice. Mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Thanks so much for bringing them. Of course. And also, still, yeah, thanks a lot also for being here, making yeah. this episode with me, right? Really enjoyed it and also looking forward to actually Christmas. Oh, wow, well, yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> so as our little car drives through your town, worries with fate, it's time to slow down. Because we will deliver straight to your door to make you feel happy, we couldn't ask for more. Merry Christmas.